Recently we switched to Godot 4.3 which introduced tile map layers instead of the tile map. Yesterday I released a tutorial using the tile map but this should really be using tile map layers. And the advantage of that is we have a scene here. If I place some dirt down, this is classes on the ground. Now I can paint over this with the wall. And if I remove the wall, the dirt and the ground still exists. I can also quickly paint some dirt without worrying about going over the wall. So let's get into it. I've got a main project here. I've, in the project settings, you'll see that I've got a game manager and I've got a script there. So this is always going to be running in the background. I have the input manager, which is going to get my left and right mouse button. And we're going to set up the tile map layers now. Now this is going to be different tile map. We're going to go and make a no 2D. It needs to be a no 2D because we're going to return the global mouse position and node doesn't have that alone. We'll call this tiles. We're going to add in tile map layer and another tile map layer. I'm going to name this ground and wall layer. Now on the ground layer, I'm going to inspect a tile set and make a new tile set. And I'll do the same on the wall layer too. So on the ground layer, I also should mention I've got sprites already ready. On the tile, both my art is 16 by 16, but if yours is different, please change it to the right uh, tile size. Then I'm going to go to the tile set down here, and I'm going to drag in the tile set one image. I'm going to say yes, and you'll see in the tile map we can now paint. Now if I go to the wall, I'm going to drag the wall into here, yes, and now you'll notice that we can do the functionality as before. One cool thing about this is you'll notice you can kind of have an onion skin effect, and you can toggle the view. I have the grid off personally. So we want to be able to replicate this in game, so let's remove this. So we're going to put in a script on the tiles. I'm going to remove this and I'm going to copy and paste some code in. In fact, we're going to need access to these two nodes. So if you drag them, then hold down control and release, it will put in the on -readies for us. In the process, I want to get get the uh, left mouse button which is placing the tile and the right mouse button which is removing the tile and we also need a function called set tile at mouse now what's happening here it differently what's happening here is that we're going to get the ground layer if GM is on ground is true. So we need to go to GM. You can see we've got a boolean saying it's true if we're on the ground and false if we're not. We've got the tile ID, which would be the tile. Let me get it there. So if I hover this, you'll notice it says Atlas coordinates 00. zero. So that is basically our ID. If a better demonstration will be going on the grass, you'll see this one and on the wall on this, it's two. We won't be using the wall on, on the ground layer. So I'm going to go back to the tiles. What I'm going to do here is if I press the right left mouse click, I'm going to set the I'm going to place a tile and I get the tile ID from the game manager. This will be changed in the GUI, which we'll go over a little bit later. And this will access this function. I'm then going to check if we're on the ground or not. If we're on the ground, then we're going to use the ground layer. So the tile map layer of the ground. We're going to set the cell. We're going to make sure that the ground layer local to map get global map mouse position. So we convert our mouse position into tile map layer coordinates. We get the ID, which is the source ID. It's zero, so I've just passed in zero by default. But if you have more, if you have another tile, it'll be one, two, three, etc. And the type, which is passed in from the tile ID. So for this to work, we are going to need a GUI. So let's access that now. 
here you see I've just got three buttons and I've done the effort of matching up the signals already. So in code, all I have is just signals ready to go. So what we're gonna do is on dirt, we're gonna make sure that the tire ID is 0.0, .0 which we know is dirt. Then we know for grass, it's one. And for wall, it's going to be 0, 0. However, wall, we don't want the ground to be true. We want it to be false. Great. And now in our main, if we save this, save the GUI, and we want to push the GUI over. Now this should work. Now if I paint some dirt, I should be able to paste a wall over the dirt, and then if I remove the wall, the dirt should still be there. Brilliant. So we know it's working. And that concludes the end of the tutorial. Sorry, it's a bit late. I should have done this one first, but I hope it helps someone. If you've got any more ideas for future tutorials, please let me know in the comments. I've got quite a good Discord group if anyone wants to join it, and I'll take questions there too. Take care.